123, we're in line for the trolley. Do you see the horses, Minara? The horse trolley? A lot of people were talking about doing the horse trolley. And there's like a fire truck trolley too. There's the horse trolley. Can you drive a double, double tape? Portland Fire and Co. 15 minute tour. That's cute. It's different like the hearse tour we did in Savannah, remember? Yes. Yeah, and the hearse, here. yeah. There's another one. I wouldn't want to sit forward and look sideways though. That would hurt. My neck already hurts from looking around so much. <laughs> like they're facing this way and they have to turn their head and look that way. Okay, we have a nice open window, which is exactly what I wanted. Still are fast. Look at this. They, they tried to put too many people on here. Last time they had to make two people leave. <laughs> There's extra seats behind us. You could, if you could sit there if you wanted. Oh. It's your choice. There's no one else coming. This is it. I'm excited? <laughs> I'm glad we did the water one first and now we can go do the land one. I can't wait to look around the city. I'm so excited. Keep an eye out for anywhere you might want to go back to. If you see something cool, you can always text it to me, the name of it. Because we'll have time when we're done. Starbucks. <laughs> There's a ship over here. Yes. I'll text it for your tour. Hope you have fun. Drop you off. A little short, huh? They're in this line to get on the ferry. Too. You can see just about anything from beer to Brussels sprouts there being taken out sure. the That's how everything gets there. If you're a high school kid in the wintertime, you know how you get to and from school? On the ferry boat. See the I'm freight over my... here? That's the freight ferry. That's how I'm out here today. A lot of stuff, especially <laughs> at this time of year. The population explodes out of the island. All along the walkway, there's little people selling the wares. The other large industry for Portland years ago was the railroad. This building here is the Grand Trunk Railroad building. Look at that wall. It's pretty wall. Oh. There's Shipyard Brewing Company, uh, the tasting room. Remember, the winters are long and hard up here, so you have to do something. The city is framed by two of these big open Whoa, uh, that's huge. So that mural and depiction on that wall of the parking this garage, is the, when we were this down is there. the same scene. Oh, cool. For the 21st century. Damaged by the a house torpedo is. later in the war. But early in the war, it was hit by two Japanese torpedoes. Either one of them dead me. In my book, that makes it a lucky ship. Well, the sailboats. All the islands off the coast here, we call them the Calendar Islands. The name was coined actually when John Smith was exploring the coastline here. Started counting islands, gave up after 365. <laughs> wow. Old trolley trucks. One remnant left. And there's the watchtower that we learned about on the boat. Not a lighthouse, but a watchtower. Learn about something. Portland right. Observatory, 1807. Portland Observatory on the left. It is a museum open to the public. 126 stairs up to the top. Great view way out past the Casco Bay. Wow, that's beautiful from there. there. That's it's 19 place. years old when he was killed in the Battle of Bull Run. First Civil War combatant from Portland killed. Look at cobblestone street. Because they were used in ballast for ballast. Do you like potatoes? <gasps> How about a potato donut? There it is, the holy donut. donut. The holy donut on the left. Main There's the main the street. So we'll just potato yeah, we'll walk back potato. here when we're done. Donuts from scratch, potato donuts. That's so cool. I was I thought we might see it because down there is the main road. Okay, we're walking up this road. What is it? Nice little pottery outlet. Oldest church in Portland. Maine had the highest number of soldiers in the Civil War per capita. Wow, I didn't know that. Percentage of our population. Maine had the highest number of soldiers in the war per capita, so Civil War. Look at those flowers. I would love to have those outside my house. It smells so good. City, you would certainly have your own horse and buggy. This is the wealthy area of houses from the 1800s, I think he said. Look at that the hatch up at the top, that big door. There it is. Oh my god. The mountains. That's New Hampshire. Wow. Cool. A little hazy, but sometimes you can see Mount can Washington. See, Just four weeks ago, Mount Washington was still, still snow cap. Wow. It has the distinctions of the highest winds ever recorded on Earth. 
Well, that's the weather station up there. Over 200 miles an hour. Again, natural Ooh. winds, not tornado. <laughs> it's for Spine sale. House on the left. Oh. You guys can come over later on for a beer if you want. Dang. We can do it now. Yeah. Back for this, right? <laughs> oh my I got beer on tap. <laughs> this is the George West home. It is for sale, 2.55 million if you're interested. 12,000 square feet. But if you look Whoa, at the difference, you know, the columns, the, the gutters are copper. Inside I thought it would be more than 2.5 million here. Original Tiffany sconces, wow. woodwork, and, and the interior is amazing. I bet it's gorgeous. Big open yeah. space. Beautiful. Look how huge it is. I really am surprised it's only 2.55 million. The other things they're showing us earlier was like six million. <laughs> I love these old homes so much. Oh, Different architecture oh I like the brick on ones. The <gasps> That's the one I like the best. I take that one over the big one any day. Guess what? From Maine, we exported ice what? to you southern folks. <laughs> If you were in Savannah, Georgia, you mm -hmm. still have an ice box and you have that ice. Where did it come from? It came from Maine. That's cool. And Massachusetts also. But oh, Minara, look. look it's like a little miniature. <gasps> we had another byproduct that helped us. <gasps> it's like a little miniature haunted house. Oh my gosh. Oh <gasps> God, that cottage. That is spectacular. Western Cemetery, Eastern Cemetery build up. So this is the new cemetery. It's a much larger cemetery on the way on the western side. Gothic. Look. These all look out over the four rivers. <sighs> oh, it smells so good here too. Oh, that's the Victoria Mansion. You can tour that. Remember I mentioned that this morning. Otherwise right? known as the Chocolate House. Uh -huh. Historic House Museum, 1858. That is Victoria. That was a windy ride over the over the ridge to South Portland. Pretty much bedroom community. You smell that everywhere, Minara? Those flowers? Look, there's a park we showed you guys earlier from the boat. Great football field over to the right. I'm ready to <gasps> Look at that. I want to go in there. Reminds me of Tulum. <laughs> As you look out into the water, especially off Portland Head Light, the White House, if you look in the water, look for the colored buoys. Oh, the Every one traps. of those represents either a direct line to a single trap, but four pieces. There are two buoys, and there's a string of traps all in one line. Cool. So we only end up having like 20 minutes here instead of 30. And guess what? There's no permanent bathrooms in this entire park. Ported potties. <laughs> That was a little shocking, don't you think? So the lighthouse is beautiful. I don't think so bad. You don't care, I know, but still, that's weird. Oh, that was terrible. Mm. And I mean, I don't even think they clean it. It was just nauseating. So disturbing. Okay, let's put it on here. Lighthouse, quick. Okay. Okay. Hold on. My stomach really is upset. Those are the most amazing houses ever. Seriously? So amazing. I love, okay, I've seen like two gothic houses in the last few days, and I just I love them more than anything oh. I do. Weren't they the coolest? They're the coolest thing I've ever seen ever in my life. <laughs> oh, love them. Oh, me too. Oh, it's so pretty. I bet the lighthouse keeper sure liked having that house. <laughs> there's the old forts, there's cliff walks, there's all kinds of stuff, but we don't have time. So at least I got what I came for, which is a picture. Got to see it up close. It was awesome. The restroom that was horrible. Why does it say shipwreck down there? There it is. Pretty. Right there is where we got off of the trolley, and we just walked up this road, and I think the donut place is just yeah. right here on our right. Oh, it is right there. What time is it? Oh. What? We walked up here to go to the donut store, but they're closed. And it says, if we sell out early, we close early. But someone on Instagram said to come here. So anyway, this is it, the Holy Donut. I guess they sold out. So we're not going to the donut place. We're going to go to the cupcakes. We tried to go to the donut place. Uh, but we did see a cupcake store down that way. So we're going to walk over there real quick. Cupcake, hi. 
cookies and cupcakes. Well, I don't know how it is. You want to eat it before we leave, or? I don't mind walking. Okay. It's so chilly out Take here. Take a bite before I go on the wind, because oh. I'd like to know how it is. <laughs> it looks really good. I need to get my camera battery. Well, good. is it? Good. Good. Ooh, look, gelato with house-made waffle cones. I love this. It's, there's so many restaurants and things to do here. It's beautiful, and I love seeing those houses so much. So the question is, Minara, the big question, if you could pick, now that you've done them both, between the boat tour and the trolley tour, which one was your favorite? Oh. I think I might like the boat tour a little more. I mean, like the houses were really cool, but... That was my favorite part of the tour, was the houses. Yes, but if I could pick one, I... think the boat tour was just, like, really special. I would also pick the boat tour if I could only pick one. Which is funny, because I thought I would do the trolley tour for sure, and maybe, and the boat tour. Last minute, I was like, don't need to do the boat tour. That's what I would pick. Mm -hmm. Come on. No blueberry pies, no blueberry pies. Nothing else, but that's okay. Nostalgia candies. Ooh, that's fun. They had a place, I guess, in Asheville. Nostalgia candies. You know, things that you hardly ever see anymore. Hey, Minara. That's disgusting. <laughs> I didn't see anything nostalgic. <laughs> There's a place in Asheville and they had like candies that you used to get when you were when I was little. The store's really awesome because watch your stuff, sweetie. They have a bunch of all kinds of stuff, ice cream and candy and sodas and waters and what's it called? Casco variety. We bought um well, first I want to show you guys these. Sue Needham's All Natural Homemade. This uh, was sent to us in Florida in an opening video we did, like at Eats and Treats on our With It On Host channel. It's just powdered sugar, coconut, main potatoes, butter, chocolate, and vanilla. And they are amazing. I mean, amazing. Yeah, I don't think I tried them though. Oh, so good. And then I also got postcards, as you guys can see in there. Um, because, as you guys may or may not know, smell the wharf. Yeah. It's so funny on the tour, the guy goes, uh, I'm going to show you it's a working wharf. Just wait and see. Wait, your nose will tell you. And then as soon as he went down the hill, it just hit like really strong. Um, anyway, on you can go to patreon.com or click the end of this video or any video almost. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. And it's a place where creators of videos or art or whatever can, can make an account and people like you can give them tips. And that's where we have that set up. And anyone who does over $10 a month gets a postcard every time we go on a cruise. So that's what we had just bought in there. We looked everywhere and we found some special ones today because today was a special going yes. to lighthouses and everything. We did a lot here and we enjoyed it a lot. So we wanted to get postcards from here. Actually, I first wanted to get postcards from the ship, but guess what? The Norwegian gym does not sell postcards at all. It's the first cruise ship I've seen with no postcards. So my second choice was here. Yeah. I'm about to try this. That's so amazing. I forgot that it was made in Portland. <laughs> and uh, we're headed back to the ship because we're going to go to dinner yeah. actually tonight because we're hungry. We haven't had anything since this morning. We haven't had any. Except for her cupcake. cupcake yeah. <laughs> we didn't find whoopie pies. We didn't find blueberry pie. We saw that yesterday, but we were too full. We didn't really find a lot, but that's okay. We had a really good day. Yes, we sure did. You know, on this trip, we haven't been able to eat as much as we would have wanted. Like in New York, we want to try a bunch of stuff and stuff and it didn't happen. As long as we get that pizza when we get back, it'll be okay. Yeah. We just went through the little security showing our ship card and photo ID. There's the ship and entrance to pure passenger screening area. Oh, we have to go through passenger screening. I hope they fix the outlets, please. I need to charge my phone. Please tell me the outlet works. See if the TV works. That's how we can know. <gasps> Cute as little as adorable as frog. Yeah, it works. Oh my gosh. The plug works. Oh, what a nice, beautiful place. I'll never forget those houses. Oh, see if something works. Hurry. I'm not taking my jacket off. It's so dang hot in here. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. It works. Cause see, guys, if you didn't watch this morning. The outlet stopped working, all both outlets and the TV. And last night I found it out after about an hour of plugging different things in. I'm like, wait a minute, I have to put all my f footage from the day into a storage device because I fill up the SD card every day. 
Ouch. <laughs> so, I went to do that and I couldn't because the computer was dead. Couldn't charge it because the, the charger was broken. And my phone was dead. My two batteries for my camcorder that I used so was hot. dead. That's what I'm saying. Is it like really hot in here? Like, this room is usually really cold. Really cold all day. Probably when I'm walking. Anyway, so my phone was dead. Both of her backup batteries were dead. Both of my camcorder batteries were dead and my computer. So I have this that I bought on Amazon. It was like 70 bucks or something before I left. It's the biggest, one of the, <laughs> one of the biggest battery, backup battery recharger things. See it? Got the case too. Ugh, so heavy. <laughs> it's like a can of soup, they say. It's what it weighs. And uh, so I charged it. I, it has three different cord plugs and I plugged in my camera battery charger for my camcorder so I can make videos a day or else I would have been in trouble because I only had one extra, I have three. But see it charges two at a time so we did that with one cord. Then I plugged in Menara's recharger, backup battery, and then I plugged in my phone. And there was still two bars left on it this morning. And then today I had to use one of her A chargers to put a few like 30% back on my phone so I'd have enough for the day. And so I was hoping because after we use this up I wouldn't be able to make movies or anything, that would be terrible. But everything's good. Yay! I don't feel as if the air is working, man. Camera so hot. The cord. Oh yeah, already happened once. Fast, cool. And anyway, we were back and that was fun. What a lovely place. And you know what I think is my favorite? Look, my hair looks all greasy because it's on block all day. I've been, I cannot wait to shower tonight. Okay, favorite port out of the four we went to. Favorite port Yesterday? of all. No. Oh, yesterday? Uh, Bar Harbor? I really like Bar Harbor. Bar Harbor. I think my favorite one, like if right now, like tomorrow, they said you can go back to one port that you were at. I would want to go back to St. John, New Brunswick. Which one was that? That's where we did the city bus tour that had all the internet everywhere and the beautiful city parks. Oh, that wasn't yesterday? No, yesterday was the Acadia Forest Trolley. Oh. The day before that was the other one where they, we learned the... We went all around the island, and it was all the reversing falls. Well, I don't know. It's so hard. I love them all. I know. I mean, the Bar Harbor was amazing. Favorite is the first one. Halifax. Yeah. But see, it's the one that we didn't do a trolley tour, so that might have something to do with it. True. It is true. true. If we had done a tour into the city or something, we might have, well, you know, and they're all great. And this place was great. This place, if you did this again, you could do whale watching, you could do lobster tours and go lobster fishing. There's so much to do here. So much. <laughs>